All right, y'all. I believe this one is ready. Squash bug. I see your ass. Can't you come over and kill the squash bug? Come kill it. Can't you? It's right there. Can't you kill it? Can't you? You foolish. Shit. I don't think the pollination on this is going to be too good at that. Kitty, you knocked it out of my hand. Let me, let me. How do I, how do I have split screen? All right, so I think this one is ready. Let me, let me kill it. All right. So this is what we got. That side looks pretty good. That side looks pretty naked. <laughs> oh my. But anyway, let's see. Tastes good though. <laughs> Kinty. It tastes really good. Since I don't have a one ear, and it's this little, I'm okay? No, I don't want that. I think I'm gonna eat this and uh, hmm. look, flea beetles, and it's destroying my eggplants. <sighs> Can't you really? Um, mm, this year, my corn, mm, something was off, it tasseled. Way, way, way. Kinty. It tasseled way before it got any silks. By the way, the variety on this is candy corn. Um, I wouldn't say use me as an expert on how to grow this because honestly I think I just don't grow enough plants for it to get good pollination but silks Anyway, um, the variety itself, now this, see, see, this is deceiving. It looks big, it's not big at all. And I can tell it's not pollinated. Let me, I'm gonna peel this one and see what it looks like. Okay, so, see, can y'all see that? Yeah. It's actually, it's actually decent. The top didn't get pollinated at all. And like I said, on all of this corn, the silks came out super, super early. And, um, let's put this foil down. I had to put foil on my, um, squash, squash vine boards. So I'm going to try old Alabama gardener's method of a I'm using foil. Let me let me show y'all. Hmm. By the way, you know, see they they getting ready. They getting ready. Um. This corn is really tasty. Trying to hurry up. It's dark and it's gonna rain. Mm. Hey. So, let me show you my scarf. The mosquitoes is giving me. Let me see how beautiful this vine is. 
Well, see the foil? Cut into there. I got one out of there. It looked like there was one in there, but it wasn't. And cut into there and got one out of there. So, uh, and that that's a whole nother vine. This is the best looking one. It's climbing up that, but this is climbing all over there. I don't want to lose these. These are such good vines. But you see this yellowing around the edges? That's what kind of tipped me off to it. That's what kind of tipped me off to it. Um, look at those ants. We got to deal with that. Um, I got some squash over here, but this squash really ain't doing as good. I might should. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull. Pull these beets. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I might roast these tomorrow. That's a pretty color too. These were um rainbow beets. I got another one over here that's ready. It's been ready actually. Got corn all in between my teeth. I don't know if these beet seeds are ready or not. I have no freaking clue. I don't even know what to look for when beet seeds are ready. So that goes to show you that yes, you two, some things are even new to me. So you thought I was doubting you about these being rainbow beets. This one's a white one. Uh, the one that went to seed, I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to pull, which is that one, because it's likely going to be very woody. Um, so, got some okay size beets. There's some more beets out here, but I think they're really small. Or they barely have a beet root on them at all. And if that's the case, I'm not going to fool with them. Um, but yeah, so... Y'all can see my broccoli is starting to come in, my sprouting broccoli. I'll probably cut that off and go ahead and let it start making side shoots. But anyway, the skies are getting dark. And um, I've had a corn snack. So I've got my second wind. So I'm going to... Uh, I did have aphids on these, but I sprayed them. And That helps a lot. There's a lot of peas on here. A lot of peas. And they, they grow it all up there. They're all the way to the top of that. It's probably 10 feet. Nah, that's not 10 feet. That might be 8. This this set of um, bamboo is not as tall as my other ones. Um, this melon right here, I think this is, this is one of those melons I planted. I can't remember which one. It's actually growing pretty good now. So hopefully I get some melons out of that. But anyway, wait a minute. I think I see something else to eat. You get so good at spying food, then you go ahead and you can see it from like 10 feet away and something to eat. It's got a little bug damage, a little bit, but, well, it tastes fabulous though. Strawberry, so sweet. Mm. All right. Well, I um, uh, my what? Some of my watermelons did come up. I doubt they'll do anything. They're growing so slow. That's spaghetti squash. We'll see what it does. Probably nothing. This is the experimental side of the garden. Anyway, the only thing I really expect anything out of is the sweet potatoes. They'll probably do well. Because they're already starting to grow pretty good. Especially that other set that's been in the ground for two or three weeks. This set hasn't been in the ground that long. Um, but it's looking good though. But anyway, I'll get out of here. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.